All right, time to play some Hard Space Shipbreaker. Uh, today, I'm just going to try to check out free play. Uh, I need to see what kind of uh, stuff you can do in free play. Let's just do uh, the Gecko commercial. And, uh, yeah. So I think this mode has no time limit. So you can just mess around. Okay, the game just froze there. <laughs> Early access, you can't really, can't really fault it. It's, it's still unfinished. Okay. So it doesn't look like we have a time limit. And, um, it doesn't look like our oxygen or our, our fuel is going down. So let's see. Okay. Okay, yep. You seem to have unlocked everything. Which is pretty nice. I need to figure out how to... Okay. X is to do something. Alright. You can put your hands out. <laughs> uh, that might have something to do. Um... Hold on just a second. Oh, it's right click. <clears throat> All right. Cool. Understand that for we have a thousand tethers, so we can do a lot of stuff. All right, let me just uh, check out what we got here. Ooh, we have a lot of stuff. And a lot of slowdown, because this is a very intensive uh, visual mode. Kind of dipping in my frame rate there, but uh, it's okay. Alright, so we got lot, lots of stuff to do here. So I'm going to try to get as many things done uh, within the limit that I have, which is like an hour. So let's find an entrance into this place. <coughs> I still don't see an airlock. Okay. No airlocks. We in the top? Oh, wait, we got an airlock. I see an airlock. There it is. This is a good mode to just, like, wrap your head around the controls. And, uh... Try out some of the stuff. Okay, so Z and X, they both hold on to uh, whatever is in front of you. So if, let's say, there's an explosive decompression, you can probably just, like, hold on. Although that's not a good idea. <clears throat> not on the airlock door itself. But uh, that's good to know. All right, let's press uh, F to activate the uh, airlock. Airlock pressure level dropping. I, I really think that this is a, um, this is probably an upgrade later on, because you can't do this. I, at least I don't think I could. Rotating the, uh, the little, oh goodness. Air pressure level decreasing. Oh no, this is not good. I accidentally uh, depressurized. <laughs> <laughs> the ship. Okay. Turn on the lights here. I depressurized something. I don't exactly know what. Okay, well. Yeah, I can't really cycle the airlock now since there's all this debris in the way. I guess we'll just have to take a shortcut through the side here. This crawl space. And we do have something leaking over there. Uh, I'm trapped. Well, let's bring out the... Uh, oh, we have the cutter out already, so... Well, actually... where's Where does this lead? Oh, we're underneath. Okay. All those seats up there. Okay. Uh, 
Oh, what is this? Oh, I guess I can't go through that. Let's just crawl through this uh, little tiny crawl area here. See if we can squeeze our way through. Can we? I don't think we can. Huh. Well, I done messed that up. <clears throat> this, uh, where is this? This is... These are storage bins. It's a coolant tank. We're going towards the uh, rear here. Hopefully... We can... Right, hold on. Just a second. If I can cut my way through here, maybe I can gain entrance to this uh, access right here, this this tunnel. I just want to make sure I don't want to hit. I, I don't want to hit those storage bins. So let's uh, let's aim a little lower. There we go. Okay. And then let's aim this a little lower. Like right about here, right above this uh, cargo storage. Let's do that. There we go. Cut ourselves a path into the uh, into the actual ship here. This looks like a cockpit, right? All right, cool. Now, I need to open this door. There's a data drive I can collect. Open this door up. Nice. Oops. Uh, zero G is a very complex method of travel. You have that six degrees of freedom, you know? You can easily get lost. <laughs> All right, now open up these doors. We got a little uh, passenger compartment here, a little cabin. Let's open up this door as well. Okay, we got the main cabin. This is like first class over here. This is coach. <laughs> okay, this door is not opening. I wish there was a way to pry open doors. Like, I, I mean, I get, I get, you know, why you don't want to, because sometimes the area is pressurized, but, you know, a little crowbar would be really kind of, kind of nice just to pry open the door. That'd be really cool. Especially for, uh, for doors like this. I mean, yeah, there, we, you do have the laser cutter, but sometimes I just want to, you know, not, not fire the laser off. But, well... I, now that I think about it, maybe there is something, um, <clears throat> maybe there is something later on that you probably could get, like a tool or something, upgrade, and I just don't know how to f uh, use it, or uh, bring it out, but, uh, yeah, okay. I guess I can't open this door. Although I think I might need to get some power into the, uh, yeah, these things don't look like they're powered, so I'm just going to go back to the cockpit and, uh, see if I can, whoa, <laughs> no brakes. Okay, where is this going? What room is this? This seems to be like a supply room and <clears throat> crew storage. What it says in the bottom there. Ah, oh, there's got to be a power, uh, power supply thing. Okay, these are powered. Oops. You know what? I'm completely forgot. I have a uh, systems view that uh, I don't know if I unlocked yet. I don't remember if I unlocked it in the main game, but uh, this is good practice right here. 
Okay, we got coolant. Oh, I trapped. What am I trapped on? Get out of there. I do have a systems view, like I said. There's a cockpit. Comms. This is the comms room. I don't really see anything in here that I could use. Oh, man. Okay. This, uh, what is this? Power generator. Okay. That's a power generator. Is there any way to turn it on? That's the question. I might need to cut my way through the, uh, back over here. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I, I, th I, I think I found it. But I need a key. Looks like I don't have a key. <laughs> okay, well, that's going to be a problem. I need a key. I do not have a key. This is, I think, through storage. Okay. Wait, hold on. This thing's uh, lit up, so I don't know if I can open this door. Oh, wait, this is the airlock. Go into the uh, exit, right? Yeah, with all that debris there. Yeah, this is the airlock. <laughs> the one that I messed up. Okay, well. <clears throat> now, what is this? This is a fuel canister. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to figure out how to get back there. Maybe if I could cut my way through the ceiling. I could try that. Hold on. Let me just make sure there's nothing explosive back here. You never know. Always happens, right? Okay. Oop. Yeah, I'm going to try to cut my way through the ceiling here. Let's just do this. Oops. Uh, nope. I want to go down. Stop. Okay, there we go. Let's, uh, slice a corner there. Go up. Stop. Let's rotate a bit. Okay, let's rotate this and let's go to the side. Oh, that, uh, that thing is on fire. I mean to do that. That's all right. It doesn't really matter. All right, cut through. Just, uh, move that up there. <clears throat> And let us try to see what's in the engine room here. We got the reactor, we got some, uh, some thrusters. Do these things carry fuel? That's the question. You can uh, press X. Or Z to uh, put your hand against things and here, quotation marks, here, if there's anything inside the pipes. Seems like there's fuel running through these, so they'll need to try to dump that out. I actually don't know how. Probably in the game they'll teach you how. Emergency thruster override without a utility key. Okay, warning may cause a rupture in fuel line. That's not a good idea. Okay, I am turned around here, so I don't know which way is up. Uh, these are the thrusters. That's a fuel tank. I just, I love this. Just exploring, like, derelict ships, you know? And, uh, and a good plus is that there's no, like, aliens gonna try to kill you. Well, hey, they could probably do that, too, if they wanted to, right? 
But then they'd have to introduce, like, uh, offensive stuff, like weapons. But you're just a shipbreaker, so, you know. That wouldn't be a good idea to do. But yeah, you know, just like, uh, you know, exploring, like, uh, ships like this. Oh, I am trapped here. Wait a minute. Oh, I found a key. All right, I'm going to take that, and uh, I'm going to try to find my way out of here. I think I might have came in through here. Oh, wait, what is this? See something. All right, what does this do? Remove fuse. Oh, nope, I don't want to do that just yet. Oh, no. I broke it. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. All right, here we go. This is where I came in. Okay. Now, I need to find that, uh, whatever this is. This is a generator. Uh, let's see. What is this? I don't know what this is. Okay. Oops. No, I don't want to do that. Oh, wait, hold on. Can I pick that out? I can. Okay. Oh, this is not good. I don't know what this is. Oh. Okay, well, uh, I'm not really sure how to use a key. Again, this will probably be in the main game. I just skipped ahead, I guess. <laughs> All right, that's coolant. I don't want to mess with that. Computer terminal. Can we cut around the door to get through? I want to try that, right? Uh, let's get rid of this. Okay, stay there. <laughs> I just found out that mount, uh, middle mouse button activates the force uh, push thing. That's pretty cool. All right, let's uh, let's try to cut through this uh, this doorway. Oh wow, that was pretty easy. I just love this thing; it just slices through things like butter. All right. Uh, let me see if I can cut this bottom part out. Nope, we still need to cut this. Oh god. I just went a little too uh crazy with that uh with that cutter. Didn't mean to do that. Oh no. All right. Oops. Well, that didn't work. Well, I mean, I cut my way around the door, so... <laughs> oh, man. I might have to restart. I wanted to see this thing, like, intact, but I accidentally just ruined everything. Alright, well, you know what? Oh, goodness. 
get that salvage out of here. Ah, oh, freedom. We're out. <laughs> okay, well, that was, um... That was terrible. I should, uh, really not hit the mouse button when I... Okay. Oh, this is pretty cool. Little emergency, uh... Uh, thing. So you can, uh... Alright. Okay. Oh. What does this do? You know what? I have a, th I have a thing here. I should just... Oh, I can't look at it. Fume shoot. Okay. Oops. It's not coming out. I might have to cut around it. <laughs> Ugh. That's the solution to everything. Just cut around it. Okay. Oh, I can't do that. I'm gonna have to do this. Okay. Oh, no, that's bad. That is propellant. Oh man, there's just explosions going on everywhere. <laughs> oh, okay, no, oh, okay. All right, yeah. I think that they might have hit a coolant, which uh, froze these panels for some reason. Well, I mean, you know, I've already messed things up, so let's just, uh, again, let's just mess around. Salvage destroyed. Oops. You know? You don't have to worry about, uh... You don't have to worry about keeping things intact when it's already gone... It's already all gone to hell, so... <laughs> Okay, so that's the front of the ship. We're going to the rear. Again, this is the reactor. These are propellant. Wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, that's, uh, titanium. Hmm. I can't go. Oh, I can't go through that. All right, I need to find the cut points here. And actually, I just want to check if uh, all that uh, propellant was coming to here. Oh yeah, I can still hear it in there. What's in here? Cargo? All right, enough, uh, enough messing around. Let's actually cut this thing open. Oh. Okay. That's a cut point I've already removed. Got a couple up here. Ooh. That one's just a... Uh... Nanocarbon support beam. Okay. Oh, these are the uh, these are the engines or the nacelles. All right, I'm gonna cut these so we can uh, get these babies out. Nice. Let's push this out. All right, we're going to use the tethers here to, uh... Oops. 
didn't mean to do that. <laughs> All right, there are... Okay, here we go. The other nacelles need to be removed as well. Get the precision laser out. Let's push this baby out. All right, good. That's good enough. All right, get out of here. All right, that's two out of four. There's two more on the other side. <clears throat> Salvage secured. Account credit applied. And then I'll find the other one up here somewhere. There it is. Get over here. All right, let me push this out. Okay, you're going to go down, and then you're going to go down. I just actually want to take a look at this environment. That's pretty cool. <laughs> this would be great in VR. Honestly. Alright, this goes to the furnace. Hopefully it'll make it there. This also goes to the furnace. Oops. I didn't want to do that. Where are you going? Hold on, hold on. Get in the thing. See if there's any more cut points here that I can uh, take advantage of. Whoops, ouch. Like, uh, let's go through all these cut points. Come on, squeeze through.
All right. Seems like I've uh, pretty much broken this uh, bottom part. Should be okay now. Uh, wait a minute. <clears throat> I am turned around here. Okay, nope, hold on. Need to put on the uh, view here. Oh, we got, uh, got some structure up here I need to cut. Anything else? Nope, don't see anything. Although the I don't think these pan these panels over here will move because everything else is still uh, everything else is still connected. So uh, yeah, that's gonna be a little tough. Let's take out the, uh, the supports up here. Oops, nope. This is in the way. Hold on. Ow. That's <laughs> floating pieces. Oh, what? Here we go. Hold on just a second. Well, out the tool here. Up through these. Are we missing anything? What is this? says it's a cut point. Might as well just do it. Oh, we got some cut points over here. Oh, wait, no. These are just uh, something else. Uh, these are the things I messed up, probably. <laughs> Alright, no cut points over here. go down. Oh, we got some cut points over here. Hold on. Ah. What is this? <laughs> oh, we got a couple more, and I think this thing will start to uh, peel like an onion here. Let's just see if I can move this. Yep, it's starting to move. <clears throat> oh, come on. Almost there. Need to push this thing a little more. All right, good. Okay. All right. So this goes to the processor.
Just gonna rip that up and transport it to the processor. This goes to the furnace. I think cause no wait, hold on. Okay, no, this is a uh It's titanium. <clears throat> hmm. Valuable object processed. Credits awarded. This is nanocarbon. I can't cut this. Hmm. Maybe I should uh, just uh, put this in the processor. This goes to the furnace. Not sure how I should uh, do that, but uh, okay. <clears throat> this goes to the furnace. This is titanium. So this side goes to the <clears throat> Oh no, wait, hold on. There's some stuff in here. Oh no, this <laughs> No. No, turn off that tether. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. I need to grab this uh, coolant. Uh, come on. Oh wait, I think I got all the coolant. Okay, well, did I get all the coolant? All right, I think I got it all. All right, this one's a pretty big piece, so we'll need more, uh, more of these. Uh, Heathers. All right, that should be uh, enough. We do have a cut point here. Hmm. 
All right, I'm going to pull that in there. It's so satisfying just tearing apart a big ship like this. But I'm not, I'm not like, I'm like what? 25% done? <laughs> okay, what else am I missing? What is this? This goes to the furnace. Little tiny piece, yep. This goes to the processor. Titanium uh, bar thing goes to the processor. Scrap goes to the furnace. Oops, I can't do that. Uh, this goes to. Oh, no, 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 no. No, you go to the processor. Big piece like you. Go over there. Whoops. Well, that's okay. <laughs> okay, this one goes to the processor as well. Oh no, come on. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, it's pushing me. No, 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 no. Go, don't go into the furnace. No, no, go back, go back, go back. No, go back. No, don't. Oh, well, that was just ruined. Let's go to the furnace. This goes to the processor. This needs to go to the furnace. Anything that's damaged gets thrown into the furnace. Okay, so these ones I can't move yet. Okay, I can't move that one yet. Because these are still attached somehow. Maybe not? Hold on. Okay. Didn't mean to do what I did, but, uh... Okay. You need to go to the processor. Multiple tethers. Okay, good. Object accepted for processing. Credit deposited. Oh no. It's stuck. Okay, uh, V, V, get rid of those. It's stuck on this thing. And then you follow that. Oops, nope, I didn't exactly get that.
Wait, wait. What's going on? What happened? Oh. Okay. I guess if it's a large object, it'll give you a warning. Wait, what does this go to? Furnace? Get in there. Whoa, <laughs> that was fast. Okay. Huh? Okay. I think that was like a damaged material, but uh, whatever. See, like this stuff. Whoops. This goes to the furnace. Grab this by accident. Okay, um, wait, hold on. Let's uh, grab this first so that uh, this can go into the. Whoops. do I have here? Um, where's the barge? Oh, there it is. Not good. Hold on just a second. Okay, I guess this thing can still go into the processor, even though I kind of uh, exploded coolant all over it. We'll use multiple tethers. Oh. I think I can take this and put it in the processor. Maybe not. I might be missing something here. Hold on. Is there a cut point that I missed? I can't cut this. I don't think I can cut this. Yeah, I can't. I don't think I missed a cut point. Hmm, I don't know. Uh, structural. Panel heavy. Panel light. Okay. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. That's not good. Okay, stop, stop. Oh yeah, these are damaged. Oh, these are, um... It's a fuse. Okay. I'm gonna have to get rid of these fuses. I don't know how to do that. Oh, it just does it automatically. Okay, I see. All right. Oh, that's a pickup. I have to pick that up. I think I got it. I think... Maybe not. I don't know what happened to it, but uh, it's gone. <laughs> okay, so uh, I think I got everything. Oh, huh, maybe not. Okay, I definitely got that. These side panels, though, I'm not really too sure what I'm missing. Other than, uh... Wait, hold on just a second. Again, I'm not really too sure what I'm missing here, so... Probably, uh... Probably the game will try to teach me how to do these big ones sooner or later. Um... Oh, maybe it's the, um... The, whatchamacallit, the, uh, airlock. So if we, if we cut open the airlock, maybe that might, uh... Hold on. Okay. I think that might have done it. I'm not too sure. I did cut through a large swath of metal there, so <laughs> that might have uh, that might have gotten it. Because this is attached to the airlock. This whole wall section here. Ah, oh, man. All right. Well, you know what? <clears throat> it's all it's been almost an hour and uh I'm kind of close. Not not that much, but uh uh a lot, I need to, I need to learn a lot more about this. There's some complex stuff here. But, uh, before we go, let's, uh, 
Let's do some crazy stuff here. Hold on. I got these fuel lines that still have fuel in them, and I have a laser. <laughs> oh, man. Let's just, uh... Still got the reactor in here. Let's cut it open. Okay, oh, game is uh, lagging out on me there. <laughs> oh man, there's lots of explosions. Is this reactor just gone? Oh no, there's a reactor inside. Huh. Wow. All right. Well, you know, that's the free mode right there for uh, Heart Space Shipbreaker. Great way to practice your uh, shipbreaking skills. Deposit accepted. <laughs> and to uh, see what happens when you take a laser cutter to some uh, rocket propellant or whatever. But uh, yeah, that should be about it for today. We're getting really close to uh, an hour here, so... I'm about to stop it uh, right now. So, yeah, like I said, that's about it for today, and I will see you guys next time.